Uh, let me see, where is my stuff? There it is. But yeah, apparently people have been uh, messing around with some cheat engine stuff in Julep. And uh, this, although it's not uh, pure glitch hunting, I may discover some things in this that are equivalent or very important in the context of glitch hunting. So this could very well be a uh, glitch hunting stream number 12, I believe, since it's been quite a while since I've done one of these. Um, but I love this game and I love looking for stuff in it. And uh, let me see. Where is the thingy? I cannot see shit. I'm legally blind. There we are. Right, so we're on the English version. Because the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, cheat table, value table, whatever, only seems to work with the English version, which makes sense because they're playing on it. And hello, Sylvie. Good to see you. Uh, the only problem with being on English is I do not have any save states for English that I'm, well, I think I do have some somewhere, but it's at the point where it wouldn't really matter. So, uh-oh. Whoa, that took forever. Why did that loading take forever? <laughs> I thought the game, I thought that was a soft lock. That scared the shit out of me. Jeez. Right, well, we, we can mess with this starting right in here, actually. Uh, just give me a second, because I've got new save states that I can make here. So I can make one right there. Uh, let me think. Was there something... Oh, yeah, I wanted to... First of all, I want to change some of the key binding things. Um, with Tulip, because on English, uh, circle and X are reversed. So in order to, because I've gotten used to the Japanese controls with them re uh, reversed, so I want to switch them around real quick. I forgot to do that. Should only take a second if I can remember where to go. Here we are. Uh, is this the correct pod? Is this the correct pod? I do not know. No, this must be the right one. Uh, right, so the button for cross should be the button should be circle. Uh, come on, I don't ignore me. Now, those are those are keyboard things. This is weird. Oh dear, why isn't it working? Oh wait, no, here we are. Maybe this will work. All right, so okay, and then circle is this. Okay. That should be them reversed. Should be. And uh, yeah, the game's preview should be fine. I, I kind of had to s do something with my layout real quick before I started, so the chat is a bit smaller than usual, because even though Tulip is 16, or is 4x3 rather, it's a bit bigger than what Gale of Darkness was for my 4x3 layout, so things are a little bit more squished, because the game's taking up more space. But uh, okay, yeah. Okay, we, we, we got the controls, boys, and I just got to hope that the game doesn't lag. But, right off the bat, um, let's see, I can, I've, I've got the, uh, the thing over here, so I can scroll down and see, right, there, there's my axes. Right, so they're not changing. Whenever I do this, wait, wait whenever I do, it's one of those. It's one, right, so it might be this axis. So if I take this axis and I change that two to like a three, I could teleport. And I did, but where did I go? Okay, already, this is something I've wanted to do for so long, but I could never find any setups for it. Get OB from within your own house. There I am, I'm over there. I've never been able to do this, and now thanks to the cheat engine, it's like, wow. <laughs> this is already 
like, there's many possibilities of this. I should have, like, renewed my memory for Cheerlip glitches and glitch hunting before I started this, because there, there would be so many things I would love to test that probably just aren't going to come into my mind now. Like, where do I start? Th this is this is a big deal. Like, for one thing, I'm going to go to the prologue. Because y some of you may, may or may not remember, I had a crazy theory about the prologue. A very crazy theory. Um, that if you could get into the, uh, the part of Long Lifetime that Yamada is blocking, uh, that there's a chance that the final cutscene could be stored where the lover's tree is because the only like whenever i think of like lover's tree eternal evening setting locked by story i think of the final cutscene with the lover's tree at the lover's tree and so because you're blocked from getting there in the prologue it's it's probably not the case but i've always had this pipe dream like what if dude and we can check we, we can check the trash can behind julie and the uh, angoro like, th this is actually, this is so cool. But, uh, real quick, we're gonna have to go into the prologue. So, I'm gonna reboot. And, uh, there's, there's gonna be stuff post-prologue I'll wanna check as well, for sure. But, we're gonna use, uh, super speed. And we're gonna start a new game. And I, I should even be able to change values and stuff during cutscenes, I think? Maybe? It's, it's weird. There, there, there's loads of things, interesting things. You, you can also just, like, change the value for how much health you have, and how many kisses you have, and how much money you have. So, already, for the sake of just testing and even, like, rooting and stuff, this could have a huge amount of utility. Um, I will admit the program kind of spooked me whenever I installed it, because it was like, it has some really weird, like, I can't believe people would still be using this even now, and like, just some kind of stuff that spooked me, and, you know, it, it kind of, m Malwarebytes found two files that it made that, uh, <laughs> are a little bit suspicious, but, uh, I quarantined those, like a good boy. <laughs> So I'm, I'm a little bit... The, the program's a little bit sketchy, but it works. It just works. And uh, it doesn't seem to be pumping me full of malware, so... I will excuse it for now. But anyway, uh, right away, we can just start going crazy. Um, only thing is, I need to figure out what axes are what. So if the one that sent me down and to the right was access 2, then this must be access 1. Oh wait. Oh right, that's right, because the values are different depending on whether you're in the- So because I'm in the prologue, now there's a special set of like, things that are for the prologue. Oh, that means they probably haven't made one for like, the final area and stuff, which is kind of annoying. Because in the final area, I'd also want to get out of bounds to see if you could like, access doors and stuff to like, skip parts of the final area. Not that it would matter if it can't be done without cheats, but... Even so. Right, let's make a small a smaller adjustment here. Okay, wow. Well, now, now I'm stuck inside the tree. Um, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's make another small adjustment here. Let's put that up by like that much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I talk to Dandy before the cutscene's supposed to happen? Oh wow, yeah, so you can just introduce yourself to people, even though the, the first thing hasn't even triggered yet. That's really cool. I mean, expected, but it's cool. Um, I did just make a save state, so let's just quickly reload that. Dude, there's, there's so many, like, little possibilities with this, it's crazy. Right, I want to go down there. I, I want to skip that opening scene. Um... Dude, there's so many little things that this could confirm. I know I'm I'm nerding out about it right now, but you know, I, I even I've said this before. Like I I've always wanted like if somebody could like find a way to like use cheats or just 
just something to help look into the game beyond the limits of what uh, the glitches are capable of, and they do have their limits. Uh, as you can see, I'm definitely not incredibly used to this, but I'm trying. Oh, that raised my height? Oh, that was weird. Yeah, that, that was li that's literally called prologue height. Wow. Prologue height and facing. Wait, what's, what's facing? Is that literally just the direction that I'm facing? So if I do this, it is. That's, that's really interesting. Well, it's not. It's like, of course, there's going to be a value for that, but it's very cool. Oh, okay, right. I want to put that the opposite way. So put that shit down to like a, a one. Bingo! Teleport, boys. Camera. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. First thing he skipped. Everybody on. <laughs> it's so small, but I love it. Right, and now we can probably do this. We can just get right past this. Using very legitimate means. Oh wow, that was correct. Okay. Uh... Oh my god. The best. Huh? Oh, it is still there. I went past it. Right. So I just went past that without actually opening it properly. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna scream. And see, it's just the same as it was. As it should be, as it has been. You know, there's nothing special, it's just that you can't access it earlier. So of course everything's the same, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> it's so cool. Dude, I could even... Dude, imagine the possibilities. What if I could like give my... Like with this, you're bound to be able to find a way to like give yourself specific items. That, that opens up so many like testing possibilities. And like, oh dude, dude, I love this. So much, we'll sit through the cutscene. Although, really quick. Let me make a save state here. And let me try and change my position in the cutscene, because I, I believe it should work. This is going to be a big one. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know where I went, but yeah, you can do this anytime. And also, of course, I can scroll up a bit. And look, there, there's my total health. Look, everybody, I have five hearts. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I'm level 10 now. I got 99 hearts. <laughs> it's so cool. Anyway. Like, of course you can do this kind of thing with a cheat engine, but it's just, I didn't think that... I mean, I guess the only hard part is you need the program, and then somebody has to make, like, a cheat map thing to, like, know what values are what so that you can change the values. And some people did. Some people in the Tulip Discord, I believe. As I mentioned a bit earlier. And I was like, whoa, people are testing stuff with Cheat Engine. Like, how does that work? And now I know. And now, here's another big one. This is something I've wanted to do for so long. I want to get past Juli Julian Goro. And I can do just that. Wait a minute. Uh... Right, so I think it's that value, so I want to make that value lower. Oh my god, dude. Interesting, so yeah, those aren't there. So you're... What? Okay. So there's no trash can, which, mean, which means even if we could get past them, we couldn't get a frog to get a damage item. So it... Un it's literally impossible to get damage items in the prologue without somehow cheating them in. And there's a lone chicken model in the coop. That is not there normally. That's just in there. Dude. Oh my god, I love it. And also, normally when you get far enough away from these guys, they start talking again. But I thought it was based on proximity. It's not. It's based on ha have you passed a certain threshold in front of them, and because you're not supposed to be able to get back here, it's like that. No, this already means my hopes and dreams are dead. Because, oh no, this means that everything on the other side of town simply will not be loaded. 
Like, it just won't be there. Why would it be there? There's no need for it to be there. So just like back there, when the, they took that stuff out. Oh, dude. Well, it was, a, it was a fun dream while it lasted, folks. That was not the right value. Where am That works. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's just barren. There's just nothing really to it, huh? Still, of course, I'm going to explore. You know, I gotta. But no, e even the camera stuff, even the, like the things that change camera jank isn't there. Yeah, so the, the door is being deloaded and all that jank, that makes sense. There's similar things that I've seen to that normally. With like, uh,. Oh my goodness, yeah. There's similar things to that through glitches that you can see where doors are deloaded and stuff's kind of funky. This is the moment of truth, and I'd imagine that people may have already tried this anyway, but no, if the if the camera angles aren't there, the sound effects aren't there, the doors, there's no way this trigger is still there. And it is not, which means my hopes and dreams, <laughs> my... My hypothesis from so long ago is is dead. Wah wah. But I mean, it's not unexpected. Can I still buy funny Coke? No, or funny cola rather. No, you can't even buy funny cola. What a rip off. What happens if I do this now? <laughs> yeah, of course. I, dude, we now know why Yamada says that. Because he knows the truth, that up there is barren. And we're not supposed to know that. But he knows that there's no secret final cutscene warp. And that's why <laughs> we'll never be able to understand how he feels. Alright, well, it'd be interesting if I could get into the station, but I somehow... I might not even be able to, actually. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's that value. Now, we also need to change height. Um, but, because, like, I'm, I'm stuck here. But because there's a height value, I can just raise the value, which should be by doing this. And then, oh, I, w I went lower. I thought that would have put me higher. Oh wow, it's like really, really incremental. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, let's do that. So now I should be in the sky. Oh. So, you know how there's that thing where you can like walk on multiple layers of the map higher and higher and there's certain maps like funny bone and in particular worldly desire temple where you can just keep going up the invisible stairs because they're aligned in such a way that you can keep going up and up and up oh my god so this means i'm like on top of the map right now which is normally not possible for a long lifetime that is scaly well, not scale we, but it's something, all right. Wait, how far up am I? Oh no. Yeah, wait. I, I'm in the I'm in the pluses. I should be in the minus. So if I go to minus that. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, radio, I'll, I'll see Dawn. All right, wait, wait a second here. Let's put that to like, come on, this should work, right? Maybe that's too much. Yeah, I just don't know where I am now. So this is, I, I gotta. I can overwrite this save state anyway. 
say, I, I kind of overshot the, uh, the height there. And got lost in the sky. I can just skip past this, can't I? Might put that up to like a 7 or so. Oh, I went into it. Okay, well here's 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 a funny. How about I do this just for fun? <laughs> that was good. And I just popped out of the ground. Nice. Eh, hey, turbo. Right. So speaking of turbo, I gotta turn off the turbo mode. Uh, do, 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 I believe it's this value and. Put that up to like eight, I think. That works. And then the height, the height, I windows please. Uh, is that lower or higher? Wait, what? What? <laughs> True turbo. <laughs> True. Why is that? Why is there an interactable there? And why is it gone now? That don't make no sense. Aha! He poked his head out. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're pulling him out of there. Oh, that's weird, Overkill. Yeah. This is Tulip Turbo. It's uh, one of my, one of my, uh, my big favorites here on the stream. And hey, I did it. There we go. See, I'm, I'm using a. I, I just discovered how to use Cheat Engine for this game. And uh, since I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, glitch hunting in this game, this allows me to test things that I previously was unable to test. So what on earth was that? There, there was a, a thing down there. Yeah, happy new year, boys. Happy new year. Uh, right, it's this one, and the lower it goes, the better. So, put that value down. And I'm here now. Now, here's uh, one thing I really wanted to test as well, which is a uh, Suzuki. So, based on how Suzuki works post prologue it should be the case that if you get to him before you're supposed to be able to that i can just hit the trigger for the onion lady stuff to start should be around here yeah like this is it so the only problem here is wait this does allow me to answer one question. So this will start the Onion Lady kiss sequence. Now, the, kissing Onion Lady is probably the, the important thing. But because you have freedom of movement during that, I'll be able to leave. Like, I, I should be able to go down and leave. Like, hit the trigger. Or even better, I could just get to Suzuki normally like this. Um, and then... Once it starts, uh, teleport myself past Onion Lady and leave, and see if n that um, see if that's the only thing, or maybe this will be like a soft lock. The poor kid with the speed. Oh. Okay. I thought there might have been a chance that it might have fucked up there because Onion Lady can't appear, so then maybe the cutscene couldn't have continued. No. Is she even there? No, she's just actually not there in any way. <laughs> the music fits. <laughs> Uh, we do have a problem though, which is that I don't know where I'm going. I need to get control of the camera back. Uh, 
And that might not be easy to do without getting stuck. Okay, wait, here's an idea. Based on where that should be, if I get myself here and then hold down and right. I might eventually hit the trigger. Eventually, <laughs> there's a chance that I might miss it and it won't work because I can't see, obviously. This is a, wait a minute. Isn't there a camera thing? There's definitely a camera, uh, so can I like just change one of these values? So change that to a seven. That moved the camera all right. So other way around, put it down to like a one. Well, there's something at the top of the screen. So the ability to freely move the, well, freely is in it. Oh, it's me. I mean, that probably, it, it wouldn't really work like that, I don't think. Okay, so, we're here. Right? Yes, it worked! Okay, now. This is really, really interesting to me. <laughs> because... Okay, well, for one thing here, can I even get out of here? Am I gonna get stuck in the debris because it's not out of the way yet? The answer to that is yes. Um, okay, let me go back down to the prologue values. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is, a, this is a glitch hunter's wet dream. Like, this is, this is, I, oh, I love this. Where am I? Right, I'm back. Uh, because it's just a little bit funky. What if I do this? What direction? That's the wrong, that's the wrong number. Right, so put that to a seven and then put it to like a, a, a two. This should work. That's the wrong direction. <laughs> no, I thought I was going in the right one. Bingo, all right. <laughs> yeah, the emote, of course. Oh yeah, I haven't even seen this cutscene. And it's triggering anyway. So... The question is, I, I, I went to Suzuki, I started the Onion Lady stuff, but what in the world? Like, is Dad gonna... No, Dad's just normal. I mean, you need the love letter and everything, don't you? Okay, let me think. First, let me get OB from here, because I can definitely do that. Wait, can I? Oh, oh with everything loaded, that's not going to be easy. But... Because I know the out-of-bounds layout of things, I should just be able to do this. Just go into the house, and Suzuki should still be there in some way, I think. Possibly. Is this the right value? It is. Ah, wrong direction, though. That time. Seven should work. Right, that should be it. So now I just gotta fix the camera. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, wait a minute. Uh, let me just make a save state real quick because I could mess something up. Right, so this is the hospital. We're in. Interesting. That's that's Onion Lady's hole. Don't take that out of context. But. And also, I don't think the hospital... I mean, of course, it's probably not even here. 
but it really doesn't seem to be. So we know exactly where Suzuki is, because this is Onion Lady's hole. I can even hear the sound effects, so yes, we're obviously in with Suzuki. Is he even here in any way and I? Oh, I really went and messed this up, didn't I? Yeah, because Suzuki ain't even reacting to me. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. So, the problem is, I need to get that letter. See. Oh, wait. Well, wait a minute. Ah, God, it's so stupid. So, it's like, you need to get the love letter so that when you get into... <laughs> Dude, that's actually pretty funny. Does that mean I could write the love letter? Does, does that mean I could send the love letter without writing it? I don't know. <laughs> that would be interesting. So I could do that. Then Suzuki talks to you at the post box. Once he does that, then his house opens. So... Uh, yes, this is. You're, I'm currently out of bounds. Um, you can get out of bounds uh, with glitches in the game, you know, without using cheats. But uh, this is the beginning of the game where getting out of bounds is normally impossible. So there's a number of things I've wanted to look into, and uh, it's been underwhelming but informative. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, this is right from the start, so. It's interesting how it's bottlenecking me with this. So I need to get the letter. To get the letter, I need to introduce myself to everybody. I need to go back to dad to find out that he's lost it, get it off of the dog. And then the question would be, can I just go through? Uh, yes, I, I do speed run this game. I've speed run it for a while. I've streamed it many, many times. It is, a, like, I think I said it earlier, this is like one of, this is definitely one of my favorite games. And it's also very glitchy. <laughs> Nico plays. Nico plays. Uh, I'm, I'm learning a lot about this game now, Nico, thanks to Cheat Engine. I can literally warp around by changing my coordinates manually. And I've already looked into some interesting stuff. So. Also, the audio is so crusty. <laughs> Slapped. How can she slap what? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, here's the thing. If because we're able to change all these values, it should totally be possible to change the value for certain flags. So that means you could just like set flags. I'd imagine. But of course, I mean, you'd also need to find what value is what, and like, figure out what you're doing. So, ha having the tools I already have available is really good, is honestly good enough for the time being. It's already taught me some sad but useful things about the prologue. Right, so, here's a, here's the, the next thing, right? Can I send this? Wait, no, see, it's not called a love letter, it's just called a letter set. So, this is a different item entirely, that's very interesting. Um, that's slot two. Developer flags? Um, that's right, uh, the person, once again, I think their name was Mary Bo Peep, or whatever, um, someone who's in the, uh, Tulip Discord, uh, they and, uh, I believe, another person are the ones who are, like, looking into this with Cheat Engine and got me interested, hence why I'm here. Um, and also were kind enough to send me the cheat thingy. The, like, uh, what do you call it? The the, the value stuff. Um, 
and they're looking into finding a way to force all possible question marks to appear so that they could zoom out and look at like an entire map and see all the, the question marks and if there's one that's like way out of bounds somewhere then it would be visible and you know so, something to that effect anyway not not a very good explanation probably uh, yes there is there is um if you go to the speedrun.com page there's a there, there should be a link to the discord in the uh on like the sidebar thingy it's a it is a tulip like speedrunning discord essentially started by stoic rose most of the people in there obviously aren't runners but they're just people who are interested in the game in general so don't frequent it that much myself but i do like to check up on it and there's sometimes some 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 funnies in there uh now this is the direction i want to go right so now I'm here, and now I'm there. Oh! <laughs> Rocky can still get you through the, the shit. Uh, let's put that value to this. That should do it. Alright. So now I hit the trigger. So I've got the letter set, but I don't have the love letter written. It shouldn't work. I should not be able to read it. Or rather, to send it, but I want to know. So we'll just sit through this real quick. <laughs> Unfortunately. Didn't think so. Hmm. But yeah, it... Like, if, if I were able to find the values, that's the park, that's funny bonus. There, there's, all the things listed here are, like, the, the position axis and height and facing position for, like, all the areas. Although, I believe it does not have the final part. But the final part might actually just be considered long lifetime now that I think about it. So, I might be able to still get out of bounds in the final area anyway, which would be really fucking dope. Because I have a, an, a a feeling that if you could, you could find the doors for the other areas. So you could just like go out of bounds immediately and skip the entire final area and go straight to the the, the uh, letter box. Of course, it did not it's not the kind of thing that would be used in a speedrun because it's lit literally cheating. But it means that if we could find a way to somehow do that, then uh, holy moly. Wait, I just got an idea. Why didn't I think of this? Uh, right, let me just save state again. Uh, what if I put my kiss counter to one? Because I can do that. One. Does that set, is, is that the flag for dad to have the house fixed up? Or is it specifically tied to onion lady? Because, no, the lights in the house aren't on, which they would be normally. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's specifically tied to Onion Lady. Alright, let me just... Wait a minute. What if I put my kiss counter super high? Let me put my kiss counter to, like, 20. Right? I just did that. So... <laughs> Whenever I go to sleep after the prologue, am I gonna... Who, who's it gonna say that I kissed? And am I gonna go all the way up to 20? Or not, not to 20, but you know, the level that's equivalent for 20. So yeah, it's, it's uh, yep, I've got 20 kisses. Uh, at least I've got the good love letter now. Uh... Out of curiosity, let me check this as well. Because um, I want to see if Yamada's just chilling down here before the cutscene. I wouldn't be surprised if he was. Um, once again, I'm actually not sure. Where's prologue? Here it is. What, what, ac what, what value is it? 
it's that value, I think. Welp, it's a good thing I made a save state because I have no idea where I am. <laughs> that was probably not the right value. <laughs> Cuts out. Right, wrong direction. Fucking great. He, he can still bonk. Nice. No, y Yamada is just... He's AFK. <laughs> I don't know why that's what came to mind. He's, he's missing an action until the cutscene. Wait a minute. Can you... I wonder, th there's bound to be a value for free movement or something. But maybe that's like tied to the cutscene. Like, so having free movement during cutscenes, I don't know. Doesn't matter. That's super duper short. But man, oh man, if you could like change an item's value so it's like, you could like find the, the, the value that represents an item in your inventory and then change that value to another specific one, you can turn any item into anything. Or just add them, probably. From scratch, that would be so good. Right, okay, um... Oh, well, I guess we're watching it. I was gonna skip it for fun, but it really doesn't matter. That'd be annoying, because I'd have to skip it the other way as well. Possibly. Actually, no, maybe I could've got around it. By, like, falling off near the top, but it doesn't matter. Right, so... You have to do this. And now Suzuki will actually do things. And then whenever he wants me to kiss Onion Lady, I can just warp to the other side of her. And leave, probably. And, uh, see what happens. And of course, Suzuki's blind spot is still a thing, but that might be hard to do on turbo mode. <laughs> yeah, I missed it. Doesn't matter. But yeah, get, getting to him from out of bounds doesn't matter because it, if you can't kiss Onion Lady, which you can't if you act. I mean, uh, unless there's like a way to get into his house without activating that trigger, like maybe a trigger to get into his house is stored somewhere before it gets put here. And if you could find that and enter his, his house in a really s silly, funky way, like that, then that would actually work if we find that out of bounds. But you, there's no damage items in the prologue no matter what, so not happening. <laughs> Talking head. God damn it. Uh, which value is this? Is it this one? Yes, it is. In the right direction as well. Ha -ha. All right, Onion Lady. I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. Well, it fixed me. No, no, no. You have to <laughs> sneak up on angry people. You're too angry people. No, no, no. You have to play the game properly. <laughs> but Suzuki, what if? What if I go through wall? Now wait, if I'm inside Onion Lady, which I am, you see, we could do this. Oh, what? That was my fault, I think. If we could just find a way to walk like that... Good luck. <laughs> if we could just find a way to get her to bonk us, or like get trapped inside of... What? I'm sneaking, dude, what? Let me make a save state. Let me just get close to her and make a save state so I don't have to sit through that. Every time. Yeah, so sorry I'm so slow and clunky with this, but uh, it is new to me. I mean, in inputting values can only be so fast. So no, wasn't I sneaking? I don't think I wasn't sneaking. So don't tell me she just has like a thing to like auto hit you if you somehow get past her. That would suck. 
Man, I could utilize her Viva time. No, she doesn't. I was just walking. I did it! And of course the music hasn't stopped. <laughs> the music hasn't stopped. Like, I just, I just want to do this for fun. Um, however, it hasn't changed anything. L kissing her is the only thing that does it. Dad, I don't want to kiss the onion. <laughs> Alright, that, that's interesting. So it's not seeing the cutscene that does it. It's specifically the act of kissing her, not even the act of having one kiss. It's the act. It's literally the act of of triggering a certain like flag that says you have kissed Onionetti. Also, she is still here, as expected, I guess. Interesting. But yeah, there's no reason why she wouldn't be here. Also, time of day. Like, what if there's a, a value for time of day, and in the prologue, what if you can, like, create a value for it, so you can just change the time of day? It shouldn't change anything in the prologue itself, because nothing should be tied to time. But, that's an interesting thought. See, now this is just making me be like, ooh, I want more tools now. And yeah, that's not avoidable. Mm hmm. Uh, really quick, fun idea. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I wanna check that out. So I do want to keep going from here. But first things first. Will this do it? It will. Oops. Wrong direction. Ho ho, I've always wanted to do this as well. So let's see, this should be near the fountain. That is the train station, isn't it? Yes, and then this is near the fountain, so the camera should fix itself. And now, no, no. I've got free camera. And I can go see Suzuki. I can go see his place from a new angle. Well, you see, I'm the thing about it is I'm 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 looking at a preset number of like specifically listed values that I can change. I don't even. I mean, I, I think I could, like memory view. I, I can just go to memory itself and search for different values. I guess, but. This is a bit beyond, <laughs> beyond little old me. But I could certainly try. Also, yeah, this is super cool, because you don't even need to do this kind of thing to get different camera angles. You can actually just change the camera, you know? You've got the values for the camera, so, you, so like, you can get bird's eye view of areas, which is really, really cool. All right, the camera is stuck here, and, uh, yeah, I can't imagine there's... Anything that interesting, but... Well, it's gonna be a... See, this is another thing. If I could force things to load in, that would save me a lot of strife. That's a big one. That's, that's a big thing on my wish list. But for, I don't, forcing something to load in, like... I don't think that's as simple as changing a value. I don't think that's... Hmm... You see, yeah, see, this is the, I've always noticed this, but whenever you've kissed Onion Lady, the lights in the house are on, and that's how you know shit's working properly. Hmm, yeah, I, I'd imagine I could. I could probably label the value myself if I find it. So I have 20 kisses right now. Uh, so that, that begs the question, how's this gonna work? Actually, 21 now. Just Onion Lady, which you would expect. 
21 times in his whole life. Yeah. Dude, you can go all the way. You can go all the way. From... <laughs> from from 5 to, to like 99. Wait, I gotta do that. Because the, uh, the Japanese tasser for this game, uh, Chigao, who, who uh, made a true life any percent tass, um, once I told him about all, all the all the glitchy glitches that I found, um, on, on his videos it was kind of a recurring thing where um, whenever he was leveling up it was hyoi hyoi time, so like the, the noise of the uh, the hearts going hyoi 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 and he made a specific video that was to answer the question, how much can you hyoi hyoi at, at, at once? But with the magic of, of cheats, we can go all the way from minimum level to maximum level. Alright. Let's try this. Oh, the maximum value. Oh, I'm, I'm not even gonna answer. I'll, I'll let you see. Apparently this is the maximum value. It's That's surprising, because shouldn't it be... Well, I'll, I'll talk about it when it when it shows up. So I, I just put the number of kisses to the maximum value, which is well beyond 50. That means... <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking it should be 255, but apparently it's 231. Maybe that's just a bit glitchy, because I put in 999. And it auto-corrected to that, so we'll just go with that. Get ready, boys. The world's largest hyoi hyoi. What? Twenty-four? What's level twenty-four? <laughs> I've reached level twenty-four. I have become a level twenty-five. <laughs> what? Level twenty-five? This is what it means to go <laughs> even further beyond. <laughs> I need seven thousand one hundred and sixty-four dollars in kisses. <laughs> this is the best. Oh my god, this per game. I see. All right. Okay. Now your father can go to bed too. Good night, double air battery. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Your new life as a level as a level twenty four level twenty five has is beginning today. Uh, oh. My sides. I'll put that in slot three because I bet you there's probably more to that. Do I have a meal thing in the box for... Oh wait, it's from Onion Lady, that's right. Oh wait, no, it's from Suzuki, rather. I was like, oh, did I get a congratulatory letter for becoming such a strong boy? I can't believe that, that is hilarious. I love it. Uh, also... Um, behold... This should probably default to the max. Oh, well, never mind. I have 80,000 zenny. 
I am a god now. I have gone further. Can you even get that much money normally? I don't think you can. I don't know. And I gotta think. <laughs> I can do anything now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realized we have free camera control. But the camera's just... Oh, uh, but if I move the camera manually, no, moving the camera manually, I don't think changes how things are. Wait a minute. Okay, so get this, right? Prologue, or not prologue, um, prelude escape, right? I, 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 it's a bit confusing, but I call this period here after the prologue where the rock is on the train tracks. I refer to this as the prelude, which is, once again, it's a bit confusing, but it works, whatever. So... One of the things I've always wanted to find is a way to escape it. Now, obviously, not happening without cheats. Um, but even with the limited cheats I have here, I have an idea. So, in order to get out of Long Life Town without using a train, you need to get arrested. And that means you need to do three things. You need to be caught naked, you need to smoke, which both of those are doable now, I believe. I think yeah they are they are um but stealing julie's thing isn't possible but wait a minute but yes uh i you know i don't think i can test this out now because it's it, it, number one it may not even work and number two it, it, it's it would be really finicky to set up but using the kiss anybody glitch um what was it wait a minute no, I'm, I'm, I'm confusing myself now. This <laughs> game, what? <laughs> oh, wait. I got so confused. I was reading smoke as in, like, big smoke, and I wasn't thinking of what I just said. No, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. No, God damn it. Um, so, in, in order to get Julie's hairpin to have stolen something... Um, you need to kiss Thief Tiptoe, which is normally impossible unless Goro has been arrested. So, you, um, during this part of the game, you're able to do the kiss anybody glitch with Goro. The only problem is that when you're with Goro, um, the camera angle is stuck, which means there's a very limited number of things you can do, and it prevents certain things from, from spawning, um, which includes Thief Tiptoe. The only problem is that using the kiss anybody glitch on an underground resident causes a soft lock normally. And the, I think the reason for that is because Badian has because you can do the kiss anybody glitch uh, using Badian and he has dialogue afterwards, which means the game tries to trigger Badian's dialogue and the underground resident sequence at the same time. But because Goro doesn't have any dialogue, there's a chance that if you could kiss an underground resident with Goro, which, as I said, is normally impossible because the camera's stuck, so even though you can move, underground residents can't really appear. Uh, it's so finicky, though. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for rambling about it, like, because I, I could go on. It's, it's the kind of thing that I, I'm going to test offline, I think, because setting it up would be really finicky. I, I might try. I, I might give it a wee shot. I, I'm just, I'm so hyped now because there's so many, so many little things that can be tested now. Like, ju just to see, like, what would happen. Even though it's not, uh, necessarily valuable for a speedrun. Because, you know, I have 231 kisses. So, perhaps that is not the most legitimate thing in the world. Uh, right, how do you even set this shit up, dude? I need a film. And because I've got so much money, I don't even need to kiss Mecha Yod or not Mecha, uh, normal Yodzilla. I can just buy one off a cheap pot. Hmm, I gotta think now. I just need a film. But wait, was there anything else I wanted to test first? There might have been. No, when it comes to this part of the game, the only thing I can think of is Prelude Escape. Yeah, there you go, Nico. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength.
But yeah, I, I could just, yeah, I could like go to the park and everything, but there's not really much of a point. Plus, we, we've already got Park OB, which is a miracle in and of itself. But it's a Fanky one, I guess. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Infinite Mommy. Wait a minute, can I? Should I buy the computer for shits? Just because I can? <laughs> uh, hell yeah. <laughs> There's no point in doing that, but why the fuck not? I could probably find the value... F you know, if I if I looked, even if it would be possibly very boring, I could look and I could find the value for my... Uh, for my inventory and change the values and possibly just get Julie's hairpin like that before I I, I try setting up anything crazy. I, I might do that, but That's uh, hmm, there's so many values Like I don't even know where to start like there are so like I'm looking through I'm, I'm essentially looking at the game's memory right now, and there is just an infinite wall of ass like there's so much i mean there there are nako um because in the in the game over shop there's you know those there's literally those items that are called dummies and presents that are just seem to be i'd assume they have no effects so that they could be tied to effects of certain things for all i know but uh we could possibly do something like that but there definitely are items like that Although, maybe, do, do you mean, like, items that don't even appear there? Well, I, I'd imagine if they did exist, they'd appear in the Game Over shop then. Like, some really weird unused items, like, um, King Poopy. <laughs> Corrosive Poopy. Illegal Poopy. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not about to look through all those values, because I, like, dude, I, I'm not just, like, being a little bitch about it. There's, like, literally, like, so many. Like, I, I can't, I, I don't know shit about memory or code. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not well-versed in those kinds of things at all. So, I ain't getting anywhere with, with this at the moment. You know, I didn't go out of bounds in the prologue and, like, check specific things. Like, what if some of the out of bounds triggers are still there? They probably weren't. They probably weren't, but, you know, it was a thought. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Idea. This is more of a distraction, but... Save state. Uh... Yes, we're going to keep using three. Um... <clears throat> So over here, wait, no, it'd be better to do it from here. Over here is the crane's roost, I believe, the place uh, where you have to get into it with Leo. So if I change my height value here, could I just pick up the golden tanuki right here? Because technically I should be able to, I think. And it depends on what direction I should be changing it in. That is not the correct direction. That is, though. Oh, I, I slipped. So that isn't quite high enough. That might be. And I could also change my other thing so I can be standing directly on top of that. That is not correct. Is this it? Wrong direction, but right idea. Yeah, let's put that to like five, two. That's also the wrong direction. Shit, what am I doing? Come on now. That's definitely wrong. Where am I going? Nine, four? Perfect, right, okay. Put that down by one more. That might make me slip. Ah, yes, son of a bitch. That's fine, because I can still just change the height. Oh, wow, it worked. 
<laughs> Yo. I mean, although I, I can't seem to find the Korean's stuff, even though it should technically be here. Or maybe, maybe the crane loading in... No, the crane loading in there isn't a, a, like a, a thing like that. There, there has to be something to it. I guess it's because the item isn't loaded. Similar to how if you get... um. If you, in Scarecrow Field, get out of bounds but don't have it be loaded. Then, oh shit, there's Leo. If you're out of bounds in Scarecrow Field and it's not loaded, stuff still doesn't work properly. Oh wow, I'm on top of Michelle's eyes. Oh my god. Oh, it fixed itself. Of course it did. Love poopy. Oh, dude, that, that would... I'm just realizing, Nico, that would totally be it. That, that's the ultimate poopy. The love item poopy. I gotta wait for Leo. Oh, really, Dawn? I mean, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let me just make a save state real quick. Uh, this is slot three, I believe. So, well, wait, wait a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The only problem is, Don, there's like so many values, like, and most of them seem to be static. Wait, see, that's the address. So I'd need to find... Dude, it's so complicated. Like, I don't understand this. It's literally just an endless sea of letters and numbers. It's like... An, it's 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 ridiculous. Like, I have no idea where to look. I mean, I, I, I guess. Uh, let's see. Window capture... No, no, no. Cheat engine memory viewer. There it is. Alright, so take a look at this shit. Like, what? What? Like, look, look at this. Like, look, look at this thing. It's like, it's just endless stuff. Like. Oh. Oh, really? Right, 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 right. Well, you see, this is why I'm so confused because <laughs> I don't understand any of that. Um, but fair enough. Right, wait a minute. Let me, let me see if I can find what you're on about then. Because maybe I can. Add a, see, there's add address manually, but that's not the right thing. A search function. A search function. Uh, well, uh, I'm not... Seeing where it's located, it's just there's memory view, stop, start. There's a there's a thing for just putting in a value, but obviously that's not. First scan, next scan, undo scan. Memory view, add address manually. See, I could just if only we knew the address, then I could just add it manually instead of having to find it. Radio, I'll see if I can do that. Uh, cheat engine. I believe this is it. Yeah, it's a bit. Is that funk? No, it's not funky. That's a bit. That's a bit right. Right. So yeah, this is the thing I have here. Right. It's like we've got the the access thing is there. Prologue jank. The value on top. Oh, there's misc. Miscellaneous. Wait, 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 what, what do you mean by that, like this? But this is just... <laughs> that's just a Windows bleep. I mean, I can... I can unpause the game to let the time value keep changing. But, like, I, I don't know, like, you said that you said, um... Go to the value on top and advance the clock to 12 a.m. I mean, it, just like right now, like not by using the value, just by letting this go. Radio, 
I mean, it probably won't be like on like completely frame perfectly midnight, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> man oh man I'm, I'm learning kind of probably very slowly scan type alright one second just let me hello Leo just let me pause at midnight alright that's a bite where we're gonna be alright scan type uh, scan type between values Am I blind? Oh, then yeah, value between. I see what you're talking about. So, oh my dog. I, to tell me what to do here, but I think I know what you're on about. So now we know that the value for the time should be at midnight, which should be like zero, zero or whatever. Oh, I see what you're on about. And 1,000. And now do I hit like first scan? Oh, it finds stuff. It finds stuff. Um, it doesn't seem like an endless sea, but there's quite a bit. And you can see that right there. So now if I let the time flow, I just gotta look and try to find the value that's changing. Yeah. Uh oh there's red ones the red are the red the red ones are changing right pause uh oh wait no they didn't all okay no they are still going so we need to find the one oh dear static values uh... The, the red ones seem to be what we're after then, I, I think. Uh, but they seem a little bit funky, don't they? Oh, there's so many, dude. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I wasn't looking at the chat, I was looking at the other screen. With the thing on it, I'm a bit late. We can go to two. <laughs> so now I put in one thousand to two thousand. Uh, I think I. I mean, I don't fully understand this, but this is like trying to narrow down the value that I'm after, I think. Okay, wait. This one here is interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, well, no, they're not really changing, are they? Well, the value part... Oh god, see, I don't know. Oh wow. Radio. I mean, assuming it's. Uh, it, uh, assuming that it is safe to assume that the time is counted in values of a thousand, with a thousand being in an R or that kind of thing. Oh shit, I went too far, but that should be okay. Cause, oh wait, no, it's not okay. I guess I could do like 2,000 to 3,500 or something. And I guess that'll work. See, is it decreasing the number that are in here? I'm not actually sure.
Hmm. Oh, I see what you mean, Don. Wait a second. So, that should be like 4,000 then, or whatever. So wait, uh... I'm, ca I'm not sure what to do now. But if I like advance it by a very short burst within a very... Uh, start over, yeah. Yeah, okay. New scan. Right, so the value is like 4,000. Wait, no. Where, where do I start again? Scan type value between 4,000 and like 4,050. Because this is like super early at 4 a.m. So assuming that works. And that's just past that, so if that's like the 500 mark, then again, but with this, and then let's save 600. So then next scan. Oh! Oh! No, they're not changing. Wait, are they? See, I see how this works, but... I guess... No, I don't know what those are. But they're changing back and forth. Hunter's next... Oh, oh, that's a good point. That's a very good point. But right, I see. Now, th this is the kind of thing I should probably do off-stream, though. Because <laughs> this could take quite a while. I I'll, I'll do the hundreds here. See, that's the thing as well, because I, I have a feeling that if it were counted in any way, it would be in frames, probably. So each, each, each you know, frame would be like a value of one, and it would keep cycling. So I'm not actually sure how many seconds are in a tulip R. I can't quite remember. Um, it's like some really weird numbers. L let's count. Uh, shit, I didn't get my thingy up. Fast enough. Give me a second. We'll, we'll we'll do it from the next. Actually, we'll do it from the half hour mark. If I could stop messing up my buttons. No, okay. Look, we'll do it from the. No, we'll do it from the quarter mark. Then hits nine. Uh, I was about fifty one on the clock for me there. So that should be like twenty two, because I think it's like thirty seconds. Uh, almost, almost. So it was 52, and it is... Oh, it's very close. It seems like it's that, but it was almost a little bit behind. But I, I, I think that means it's 30 seconds. So that's 30 times 60 for the, the, the frames. Math is not my forte. Uh, that's 1,800. So it's a value between... Well, no, that, that's for a single R. Is my math wrong on that, by the way? I don't think it is. So a single R is like 1,800. And then times that by... Well, there's... See, uh, there is still... It is still a 24-hour clock, which means it's that times 24. Reset the clock to zero. Well, how do I do... We don't know the thing to do that yet, though. That's the problem. Wait, do you mean like one of the values there, or like what? Because like I can't do that in TrueLab unless you want me to load a save state. All oh, right, okay. I suppose that makes sense. That's probably is the better way to do it. That's not the right one. See, we're we're nowhere near midnight, but 
Yeah, if I had to place a bet, it would probably be it would probably restart to zero at midnight. So. Exactly. Yeah. So um, re well, really quick um, just let me get my my old trusty Windows 10 calculator up. Um, that's one thousand eight hundred times twenty four. 43,200. So it has to be a value between 0 and 43,200. Wait, is is that value acceptable with the uh, whatever integer, integ whatever the name of the thing is for the maximum possible value in Tulip? I forget what that number was supposed to be. I think that's within within the, the boundaries of it, probably. Because if it's not 255, then it's the other one. But isn't that only like 16,000 or something? I don't know. But I'd imagine, like, how, how would time work? Like, it, it has to be counted by the frame. Because time is always passing. Right, wait a minute. Let's uh, make a save state here. Uh... All right, so we're just past midnight. So that means that the value we're looking for should be, wait a minute, let's undo. Oh wait, no, sorry, new scan rather. Uh, value between. Right, so this should be a value somewhere between zero and only a few, only like a little bit of time has passed. So let's say about 200. It should be, it should be between zero and 200 frames roughly, I'd imagine. All right. didn't really do anything for me, but the halfway point of an R is what exactly? What was it again? Uh, there was 1,800 in an R, which means 900, so that's somewhere between, let's say, 900 and 1,100, if, I'm, if my math isn't catastrophically off right now, which it very well could be. And then this, this should be 1,800. Oops. So I'll say between that and, let's say 2,100. Hmm. There's not as many values now, is there? But we'll keep going. So that's uh, another 900, which is 2,700. All right, if this doesn't work, then I'll just uh, leave this for now, but I feel like we might be getting somewhere. Scroll all the way down. Hmm? Wait a minute. Oh, well, uh, because I was just thinking it should be, we should be able to find a thing that has a value around 2,700 then, shouldn't we? Wait a minute, 2,608, that can't be right. 2,000, is that it? 2,727? That might be it. It is! It's going up in increments of 30! We find it! We find it! Dude! That's it! We find the time value! Holy shit, that has to be it! Right, wait a minute, uh... Holy shit... Address list? Is that what it is? I gotta add it to the thing. I can save, oh yes, I know, I know, uh, save the value, so that's like, how oh, though, there's probably a button here that just says it and I'm blind, 
Save scan session. That's just save in general. I can't believe that. That's so cool. I actually, we, I actually managed to locate that. Like, d dude, Don, that is so good. That that is really good. Just being able to do that. Uh, can I like take this and drag it? I can. I've, okay, I just took it and dragged it right now. No description. Time. Right, and now value. Let's add let's let's add six thousand to that, right? Let's see what happens. Yo! We can change the time of day. Look at this. That is so good. Okay. Dude, oh, please don't. I hope it doesn't, like, have some weird shit that can crash the game. I guess it's not impossible. Let's do this. And it is based on frames. The laws of time. Ed of the L to the EX under. Whoa. This is trippy. This is so messy that you can just make things go poof. That is also, wait, I forgot to take it off screen, my apologies. In fact, you know what? Let me uh, take this and just uh, put her up there. Cause why the hell not? Why the hell not? And uh, I'll, I'll maybe, I've, I could make it a bit, of, put a bit of opacity on it, but no, I don't need to. That's so cool. Dude, Dawn, this is amazing. That is great. So if I put it, if I look into it enough, I could probably figure out, um, could probably figure out what to do with, whatchamacallit, uh, items. It might be possible to find items. It, 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 it is probably possible to find the items in my inventory. It's just we have, unlike with time where we had the, uh, the science of how it should work on our side, not so much right now. Speaking of which, um, out of morbid curiosity so that I can find out if I was exactly pinpoint correct in my estimation, or in, in my uh, thing, if I change this value to exactly, wait, is that it? Yes, 1,800, we should be at exactly 1 a.m. at night. Oh, we are, we are because the music stopped, but the lighting doesn't have a chance to change. See, and Dr. Phil is here. This is one at night. This is 1 a.m. But the lighting just doesn't have a chance to change. That is, cr that is so good. If, if I go through here now, it should be nighttime, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> that is amazing. That is great. I love it. Oh, it's so good. I forgot you might have did that. <laughs> if you, if you uh, haven't been to the park yet. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now... I Dude, there's all sorts of stuff that we can do now. Like, watch, I can go into the women's bath. <laughs> I can go into the... I can do it. Watch, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... <laughs> this is it. This is Tulip at its peak. The one thing we've all wanted from the start, more than anything. Oh dear, where am I? <laughs> I warped it. I put myself in the Leo's house. Hello, Pinch Poncho. You shouldn't be able to do that because it's three in the morning. Wait, how did Leo do that when he should be asleep? I guess you can't enter it. No, you can enter. Oh, I guess even if he's sleeping, he like wakes up to like tell you to piss off. That's oh, wait, dude. I gotta get my stuff back up. 
That is so cool. So no, I was exactly right. I, I was right. The, it being it makes complete sense. Like it's only natural that it would be based on the frames. Uh, just let me get my stuff back up because I, I kind of have my, my stuff all over the shop here. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Right. Right. Uh, let's go back in there and uh, actually go into the, <laughs> the... It probably won't work. There's probably no way to walk in there, I'd imagine. I would imagine. But you never know. Uh, just like a little bit. Nope. I actually just made it worse. Put it back to normal, please. Uh, is it this value? It might be. What is going on? <laughs> Why is it so bad? Oh, 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 I see myself. I'm here. Leo. Oh, I'm stuck. See, I thought something was weird because I, I made such a small value change. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> this is stupid. Um, right, because this is another thing, is getting out of bounds from within the, uh, the thing here has been impossible, because whenever you open the door, you're kind of, it's one of those weird doors where you're, like, locked into how you're doing it. Um, so, now we can actually have this loaded while being out of bounds, and it probably nothing out of the ordinary. But it could still be super cool. Is this the right one? No, it is not. Uh, I need to, like, maybe try to remember what the fuck. That wasn't a huge change. And now I'm just broken. Alright, let's try changing that value a little bit. Oh... Okay, 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 okay. Too much? Too much? Oh, I'm here. If only I could fix the camera. Um. Huh? Okay, bright idea. How about I just change my height? How about I just stand on top of it? See? There, like, <laughs> that made it a lot easier, holy shit. Ah, that's right, there's shit everywhere that's sort of, like, blocking you. You gotta go... <laughs> up here okay and now it should change no why didn't the camera angle change it, it put me through to the lover's tree and now I'm outside with the lighting of the bathhouse that's not what I wanted <laughs> I wanted to fix the camera No, no, no. Take that and put it to 11. Ah, that's... No, not that. That's too much. Oh, no. I think I already did it too much. Oh, I was beneath. Wow. That doesn't sound right. Shouldn't that pick me up? It does. Right, maybe I took off one too many. <laughs> Hello, Leo. <laughs> no. Rude. Wait, get Leo, Leo, 
Give me a second. I've got all the money in the world. I can just do this. I can just like line myself up here and then figure out how to move into the promised n land. What is there something that like makes me invisible that I'm not accounting for? Why are even the smallest adjustments making me invisible? That was. Oh, I'm in here. Oh, big brain. I paid to get in and then warped out. Wait, did I... I guess we're just going to try this again then. I do not understand this sometimes. Take that off and then put it to 10. Wait, oh, we need another zero in there. Is that it? No, we don't. That extra zero was too much. That's perfect. We need a little bit more height than that. This is what I did before, but it I, I guess I must have messed it up. There we go. Okay, okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Because there's a free camera here. Now, I, I can probably just work my way back around because there, there's actually a trigger here to... I think it's this one right here, and it takes you to the uh, the crane's roost place. But yeah, I've it's has not been possible to do this up until now. Not without cheats. Cheaty cheats. Yeah, all, all the collision is still loaded, that's to be expected. So nothing really of any use. Although, if we... Wait, can I like... Make this bigger? Hell yeah, I can. Uh, if we go to the camera. Now, what's up with this roll thing? What's that supposed to mean? Camera roll? Wait, 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 wait. That's right. I remember. Those are. Why did those change back? Those are supposed to be float values, or types rather. Float types. That was a, a mistake whenever I got the file. Right. So what's this rule thing about? What if I do this? Uh... Okay, let's not do float. Um, it seems as though the, the, the angle of the film changed, so... Or not, not float, rather, roll. It must have... You know... Rolled me, because I'm not the sharpest tool in the... <laughs> oh... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh me oh my, what do we have here, what about the pitch, b b what is that, what is that, okay pitch might be what I'm looking for, what, 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 is that, have I zoomed out? Whoa! Custom cameras, dude! Yo! It even sticks! Because if you change the camera, when you're in a place where the camera is free, it thinks that's how the camera's supposed to be, because there's nothing that's trying to change it. So you can walk around with any camera angle you want, as long as you don't go somewhere that changes the camera angle automatically. You could play first-person tulip. Yo, this is... Now this, mmm. Mwah, I love this. That's so cool. So camera camera height. That sounds promising. <laughs> yeah, I could I could I could do a makeshift uh first person chulet, but I, I somehow don't think that's a good idea. Um, right, so what if I keep increasing the amount that, ooh, now, was it pitch? Like, can I have it, like, pan down so that I can, like, yeah, dude, that's exactly what I wanted. Y 
Yo. And now if we just put that height way up. <laughs> oh my god. This is the coolest. What is that? And why is it still loaded down there? And why did it- why did that fix itself? Height, do not fix yourself. That's boring. Yo, that's stupid. Why you gotta fix yourself, man? Right, maybe there's an axis I should change here if I want to make it get closer to Pure Boy? Kinda. Mm, that's not quite what I wanted. What was it? Was it like five? Oh no. Oh no no. Okay, let's do a seven seven seven. Okay. That 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 was not a good idea. Okay. Okay, let's put in like a a nine. Yo. <laughs> You can get a big ass scenic view of Long Lifetime, but why does it change automatically when you start moving? I don't, I mean, I guess I kind of understand, but that's annoying. So this means that you could actually like fix your camera angles. Wait, I wonder if that's like some like water effects or something. Okay, see that fixes the camera as, as you would expect. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dude, this is... There's so much fun I could have with this. But first things first. Look at this. Blank, blank. So now I need to, like, figure out what frame is correlated to because yeah you can change the camera angle that you can just flat out change it so that means that with Goro I'll be able to test if kissing anybody with an underground resident actually fucks the game I can at least test that maybe if I can at least I can get free camera in the Goro in the like Goro imminent kiss conversation. Ah, oh, so cool. Fucking hell. Right, uh... Oh, wait, my save states. I knew I was missing something. I gotta take a look at them. Right. Uh, I guess we're in four. It doesn't really matter. Uh, right, so time, time. Time and the pure essences of heaven, the moisture of the earth, the, sun, the, the powers of the sun and the moon, <laughs> all work upon a certain rock. Right, uh, da, 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 da. well, this once again should put us exactly at 1 a.m., and it did. So, uh, I, I actually think I need the, yeah, I need the calculator for this. Yo, Stoic, yeah, it's so cool. I just figured out how to use it. Well, I, I, I kind of just did. I'm learning so much. I'm, I'm, I'm testing so many things. And I'm, I'm learning about... Also, some of my ideas are being shot down as well. Because, like, I'm, I'm, I've been able to, like, go out of bounds in the prologue and test things. And I, I also just figured out how to change time. I found the value for it. So, uh, what, what, what time am I looking for here? Sometime when Goro, Goro was around, so about 5 in the afternoon, which should be that number. So that should be 30,600. Only problem is, the time may have changed, but... Oh! The, the, the color... Well, that did change instantly, wow. Scarecrow field skip debunked. I mean, there isn't, like... There was never, a, like, a method. Like, do you mean, like, uh, getting the space banana? Because I, I did that a long time ago. Like, you, you can get the space banana using glitches in the game normally. It's just very difficult, and I haven't been able to figure out exactly how I set up uh, Alien's walking path in the way that I did it. But uh, if you mean, has there been any developments 
and like using cheat engine to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nothing yet. Um, though, uh, Bo Peep, I believe the, uh, the name was, mentioned that uh, they're looking with someone else to like find the specific thing. Like some, some sort of thing that forces um, question marks to appear so that you could then force them all to appear and then zoom out the camera so that you can see like way out of bounds and stuff. And like see, well rather see loads of things at once and then use that to locate any strangely placed or way, way out there question marks that could be hidden like triggers or something. So no, 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 it's definitely not debunked. It just uh, depends on what what we can get working, but I'm I've I've I'm not exactly well versed with this kind of like values and codes and stuff. So, huh? Wait a minute. Oh wait, it's old film. Oh, I forgot. I I have to show him the right film. I'm stupid. Yeah, he might actually just come out in a bit, so... Right, wait, problem is I, I need some cicadas. Uh, but yeah, Scarecrow Field skip, like, I want it so badly, because the... It, maybe not even just necessarily skipping Scarecrow Field, even just skipping the uh, refrigerator, but the problem is that that's, that, that's the issue. That is the, uh, the problem. Uh, funny Cola, of course, I've got so much money. And, and so much health. Yeah, it's so funny how Worldly Desire Temple and Funny Bone are literally instant. Like, they're nothing outside of their own like, little tiny specificities. But <laughs> Scarecrow Field is pretty much exactly the same. It hasn't been changed at all. It's just annoying. Oh, bingo, he's right here. So, okay. Uh. Oh, dude, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I, I could stop the camera from changing by warping past the trigger or like the area where the camera changes, but even if I do that, like it's it's the problem is that after the movie it's in a set position, so mm. Really, Hasty Wizard, that's really unlucky. Like just he never vive it or something. That's really unlucky. Damn. I gotta think now, cause I, I haven't I haven't set up uh, a kiss anybody glitch in a while. Uh, how do you do this exactly? So you gotta do a whole load of sh shit with Barian to like get the dialogue, and then you start talking to Goro. You have to keep eating stuff to like get through the film while still retaining control, and then hmm. Okay, this isn't too bad. It's just a matter of getting the inputs. Just had to run through it in my head there to make sure I knew what I was doing. Well, that's not a kiss buffer. That should be it. Nice. Right, so before I do anything else, this is the exact kind of situation that I'll be in once I've kissed him, where, because we're here, the camera's... See, ah, no, it's still impossible, I think, because the camera's locked, because we're in a conversation. So although I can... You see, there's maybe there's like a specific value that says the camera's locked... Uh, I can change where the camera is stuck. So if, if I can confirm that changing the position that it's stuck in will allow things to load and work properly, then... Huh? 
I didn't. That's. I didn't see that change anything. Am I blind? That's not changing anything. Oh, that's not good. Wait a minute. Let's change the height. Let's go like five. Wait, it's because I'm paused. No way. No, dude. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait one second here. What the shit? So if I do that. What? Yeah, this is so weird. So you can't change that when the camera is locked like this, you oh not quite. I was able to change that for what it's worth. Interesting. Very interesting because, oh my god, so the camera really is the only thing that like decides what's loaded. So if I set up for kiss anybody with Goro, and if I'm super lucky and him not having dialogue afterwards means that I can kiss anybody with Thief Tiptoe and not have the game soft lock, then I could kiss Thief Tiptoe successfully, get the key, and maybe escape the, uh, the the prelude section here with the rock on the tracks by getting arrested. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Nothing in particular. I was just trying to get it changed. But this is really odd because maybe I'm getting hyped a bit too soon because... Well, okay, if I could just change this and have it work like this... Oh, no, 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 no. Like, I I'm not trying to do something here that's going to be done in a speed run. Like, I'm using cheats to achieve it. I'm just doing it because I want to know what'll happen. <laughs> like, what happens if when you're in a state where the trains aren't technically running and you leave Long Life Town uh, when it's not supposed to be possible and you end up in Worldly Desire Temple because you got arrested? Like, what would happen if you tried to go back to Long Life? Um, and actually, that's pretty funny because in Worldly Desire Temple, we could go back because we could go and get a an infinite pass from the from the develop from the dev trigger so we could actually ride the train without having to manipulate our inventory which is probably possible um if, if i can find out how to like change the values if like of items in my inventory or something like that then that would be like game over <laughs> i could test anything i wanted to almost at that point but i don't quite know uh how to do that a cap see wait, there's a thing there called camera thing and it's set to zero whoa okay look at that we can see thief tiptoe's hole okay regardless this is definitely on the right path okay okay oh shit i like this i like this a lot <laughs> no. God damn it. I think we're still good. Or did, wait, should I have add something there? No, okay, we're fine, we're fine. I gotta do it again now though. No, it's fine. Oh no. Why did I get Oh I got the audio glitch because I hit a button thing and it. Okay, whatever. Cover your per ears. <sighs> oh, this is so cool. I love it. Okay, yeah, I still have freedom of movement at least. Um... Uh, wait, turn off the thingy. Right, so we want to take that, take that other camera thing and put it to one. I, well, actually, I guess I don't need to do that. Uh, wait, I do, because it let me see as a whole thingy. Um, was it pitch or was it, it wasn't roll. Was it y'all? I think it was. Put that to zero. 
almost... Wait, is it based on where I am? So if I walk away... No, it is the camera. The camera dictates these things. So this means Thief Tiptoe should spawn. Like, he should actually... Well, uh, th then there's the, the problem of, like... Uh, when you're in a conversation, underground residents spawning can be funky and I don't quite understand it, so it might not even happen. Uh, right, well, for one thing, I can change the time. Uh, to what exactly? Calculator. Uh, that's 1,800 times, let's say about it. Alright, uh, that's... 14,400. There we go. So now it's 8 in the morning. That's so useful. This is gonna make, like, this, this would make rooting and stuff even more easy. Like, holy shit. Alright. Now, will he come out? What time does he come out at? Indeed. What time does he come out at? I'm not sure. Wait, is time... I think I made a boo-boo. Maybe because I didn't eat another cola after the movie was over? <sighs> Let's... I'm gonna leave it on turbo mode for a while. Just for a bit. And if... If I'm... Um... If it eventually, like, if the music stops, or if it, like, turns to evening, rather, then I'll know that time is actually flowing. There's a chance that because I didn't eat another cola whenever the movie finished, that by entering a, a new conversation with Goro after the film, although I retained free movement, it stopped time because it was a new conversation, and I didn't uh, have the uh, effects of uh, the damage. So I think that might have just happened, so although... I changed the time manually, and that affected stuff like music. It Time isn't actually flowing right now. In fact, you know what? Um, we can just go ahead and kiss Goro, because if I did that, then... Oops. Then this is a, this is a, a bust. Thank you, Goro. Oh, wow. Oh, no. This is trippy. Put on your VR goggles now. Uh, no. Time was flowing. And that is a bad thing. Oh no, this is permanent. Oh, this is way too trippy. I don't like this. This is kind of nauseating. So, this means that I have to enter this kind of state with Goro while Thief Tiptoe is already there. Hmm... This means that I need to watch the film with Goro at a specific... Like, I need to, like... Thief Tiptoe would need to spawn whilst I'm watching the film with Goro, I think. I know I've had something like this happen before. As I said, underground residents are very, very finicky with this. They're very, very finicky. I think it's because they, they, they can't come out if you're in a conversation. If you're in a conversation, an underground resident isn't going to appear. So I need Thief Tiptoe's appearing time to pass whilst I'm in the movie. Now, there's definitely a way to get Goro stuck here so that you can talk to him at a time when he shouldn't be here, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> God damn it. $84? What? How did I lose all my money? <laughs> oh my god. I did I lose all my money? What the hell happened? It doesn't really matter. Um, how do you do that? Oh, of course, of course. Um, I need to start talking to him and then let time pass. It's simple. So I get here, I eat this, I talk to him, and I've got free movement. So now I just need to, like, change the time to 
one that'll work with this. Uh, right, let's save this as slot six, that's fine. Um, and now what time do we want? That's the question. Enough time to watch. Yeah, we... <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Uh, what time does Tiptoe come out at? It, I think it's like 9.15 or something like that. So, And he stays out for a while. He stays out for like two hours. So we want to change the in-game time to like... Hey, my memory served me right. <laughs> um, I don't know how long the film is exactly. That, that's that's the issue. So we got to make this smart. I'd say 6 a.m. Maybe. Nah, maybe that's too long. If the film isn't two minutes. It isn't like two minutes long. Well, it says 7 a.m. Because he'll be out for a little while. That gives me some margin of error. That's 12,600 frames. Uh, I won't change the value just yet, though. I'll change it in a moment. Yeah, we'll do it here. Uh, uh, turn off turbo. So our time was still flowing there. Oh, I could change the camera whenever it shows that to see like what's around at the same time. Oh, Michelle's in a bad mood. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, we've got this to sit through so I can really quick, I'll make a save state here. I can change the camera in the film, so... Nine nine, I guess. Oh wait, no, I can't. Oh, maybe the yaw. Oh, the film. Yeah, I forgot. The film is like hardwired into the center of the screen. Oh, will it not go any higher? Oh wait, it's just rotating now. That's cool, I guess. Could probably do more with that. Right, now are we good or are we not? Let's find out. I don't know though. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I've, I've still got ideas, though, if this doesn't work, so... Now, we don't actually know what time it is, do we? So... See, he's not there, which means I must have messed up. I think I was too late. I think I, I didn't go fa I, I set the time too late, I think. I'm assuming that's the reason why. I could be wrong. Long life cinema. Cinema. Also, maybe I should have the camera ready to go. For afterwards, I don't know. We'll see. What state was this again? This is state. Uh, is state six? Yes. Okay. State six. And that was seven. So I guess we'll do six then. There it is. Mm, 
We'll make it a little bit less than that. So it's somewhere in five. That should definitely do it. I think that might be too much actually. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll find out. Uh, and ahead of time, the camera. Oh God. Wait a minute, let's just wait here for a second and see if he spawns. Like, let's, let's see if I go away. Well, uh, I need to know. Cause maybe it's the stuck camera. I feel like they spawn anyway, I really do. Son of a bit. Wait a minute. Was that right on time or what? That's not 9.15. Thief tiptoe. Why? Okay, let's do... Wait, 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 wait. Let, let's, let's do like... 9... Just to check out Safe Tiptoe. Because I want to see if it really is the conversation that's at fault or what. Yeah, I'm like fairly certain it is, but. Yeah, he's not showing up, but as soon as this conversation ends, he'll probably show up then. Yes, okay, it's it, that is the only reason then. It's the conversation. Hmm. That was an odd visual. This is fucky. This is this is quite fucky. Uh what time did I want to try again? Was it six? It was uh, we'll just do six. Although, wait, I actually need to... Oh, six. <laughs> Wrong six, but okay. So wait, what on earth could I do to, like, get him to spawn? Um, see, it, it would have to be he's there anyway. Like, he's already there. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> so that changes, if I'm not paused, if I'm not paused, that changes instantly. That's good to know. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, I messed that up, but I can do it again. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to mess with the camera. Let's do this. That didn't do anything. Why must it do this to me? Uh, camera height. Let's do camera height. It changes nothing. What about the yaw? Kinda. The pitch? Uh oh. Where do I go? Nobody know. I, I don't understand what I did that messed it up. Okay, what if I change like one of these values like slightly? Uh, I don't know, this is being funky. One second. What if I do this? That is changing almost nothing. What about this? Oh, it's going, it's, it's almost going up. 
Hey, that's what it's doing. It's panning it, alright. Well, it's called pitch, so yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, was it this one? I think it was this one. And, uh, do I want to change it now? I guess so. Yeah, it should be fine. Although I did it well. Oh no, it went back. See, that's so weird. Maybe that's because six is the exact time. And isn't it four? I don't know. The lighting is odd. I right, eat it. Don't show it. Yeah, don't forget. Gotta eat another one. How about now? I mean, the first problem is what time is it? But let's uh, see here. Was it this that I put to zero? Was it the yaw? It was. And then that, that's it. But he still isn't here. I can actually inspect the hole. Which locks me into this. Well, that's a question of what time is it. Because you, you can use this glitch to, like, kiss somebody else with Goro. Are you kidding me? Should he have been out? Maybe I was a bit too early. Maybe I have to, like... No, because, you see, the cinema probably counts as a thing as well. Like, I I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. But, alright, I have an idea. I've got one more idea. Oh wait, I can actually test a part of it now. Ah, uh, I was a bit too early. So that was it, in the hope that that extra, like, thing somehow lets him spawn or something like that. Which it might, but probably won't. No, it didn't. It was by my... Hmm... What if I go, like, really far away, though? <laughs> nah, probably nothing. If I could free the camera up, I feel like it might work. But I just don't know, dude. What's this camera thing? Whoa! That was really trippy for a moment. This might actually do the trick. So if I keep putting this down... I mean, this place is obviously deloaded, but because I'm farther away... Uh... And I put this back up then... It forces things to load and deload, so maybe that means that Tiptoe spawns? It does not, which is very odd. Right, what if I change this to like two? Yo, that's cool. That's really cool. Right, 
Well, my only idea now is to wait in this state and just try to go somewhere else. And see if I can't free up the camera somehow. There's these other camera things. Okay, that's the one that moves it across. Uh, apparently, Badiana is still there. <laughs> Yo. Now, th now we're now we're cooking with oil or whatever. This could that do it? I don't think so. Oh, this is really interesting, really. But the tiptoe is simply not there. We just need him to appear. So, okay, 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 okay. Idea. Idea, idea, idea. Um, right, now let's change the time to like 12? So, what's 12? So, wait a minute, no, 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 no. Let, let's like make it more precise. Let's put the time to like, mm, let's sure, yeah, it's fine. Fourteen four hundred. Fourteen thousand four hundred. Wait, did that did did changing the time force the area to load in? Now that that's interesting. That's very interesting indeed. All right, so wait until a point where he should have spawned. I can still, I can actually still see the time by looking at that. So that's bound to be enough. And now, where was the other, which other camera thing was it, come to think of it? Oh, it's that one, because I set it to 5,000 and it's stuck. So 2,500. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? No matter what I do. Hey, can I like zoom out? Because that was height. If I change this to like a four, what changes? Nothing? Can I like put it up by like a number one? Nope. What about this? What does this do? Not quite what I want. That's a bit too much. That's an interesting angle. I'd like it if it were a bit higher up though, and I think I can do that. Which thing was it? Was it this? Twas. Ho 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 ho. Wait a minute. Dude. That's it. You see that there? That thing that was up there briefly? Th that That is like the game like loading the other long lifetime that would be on top of it. You know, like how you walk on different layers of things. That, those, that must be some kind of weird texture thing that's related to that. I'd imagine. I would very much imagine. You can get some funky angles here, I love it. Right, let's let's bring her way back. And then take the other thing and was it this one? Oh dear. 
with regret, regret, regrets, regrets, regrets. No, all that work, all that beautiful setup for nothing. Right. Hmm. Well, you see, I think Thief Tiptoe. Wait, wrong one, wrong one. I also just clicked a bunch of stuff accidentally. I think that Thief Tiptoe should still be able to spawn because the movie isn't like a text. I mean, I mean, it's it's like how you can move freely with text. You can move freely in the movie. It has to be something like that, which means it means I need to get Goro stuck there until Thief Tiptoe appears. And then in the film, like, manually set the time to a time where Thief Tiptoe should still be out. Yo, this is some... Oh, wow. I, I think I can do that, though. Oh, my go goodness. A g -g -g ghost. Right, wait, I need to think now. How is it that you get Goro stuck there? I think I know. So you gotta do this. No wait, this will work. I don't even need to wait. Of course not. I'm not limited anymore. So if I do this and then set it to a time where Thief Tiptoe should definitely be out. So like, let's say, let's say 10, which is, well, I already know that, but that's fine. So it's 18,000 flat because math works like that. Uh, So now if I do this, because I'm not in a conversation, Thief Tiptoe should spawn. And because I'm still in a conversation the whole time, he technically won't be able to despawn either. Does it work like that? I don't think it does. I think the game is unfair and still has it happen anyway. But... Tiptoe? He's here, boys. The boy is here. Okay. The boy is... Wait. This is perfect. In the film, I can just keep resetting the in-game time. I can just keep setting it back to 10. Oh, dude. That's so good. Genius. Genius. Dude, so th this might be it then. The only thing that would be in my way is whether or not it still causes a soft lock. One second. Probably don't need to keep doing. I don't need to do it this frequently, but let me copy that so that I can do it easy. Dude, the time value is even more helpful than I thought it would be. I mean, for this trick anyway, for this part of the whole experience. It also means I can monitor exactly when time is flowing, which is cool in and of itself. Keep putting this back to town. Yeah, that does indeed stop time, as you'd imagine. 
Holy shit, this could be it, boys. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> this could be it. Thief Tiptoe is a might be about to get smooched. And even if it ends in a game crash, at least I know. There he is, boys! This is it! This is Kiss Anybody! This is exactly how Kiss Anybody works. Oh, shit! You can do it! Come on, Thief Tiptoe! It worked! So now the question is... Like Badayan, will this cause a soft lock? Or because Goro has no dialogue, will it actually count as me kissing Thief Tiptoe? Please, don't soft lock. Because then we can do it. We can prelude escape. <gasps> no! It's soft locks. Whenever I saw his little fall down animation, I thought for just a second, maybe. I can't pause the game. I can't even oitsu. I can't check anything. <sighs> no, after all of that, are you kidding me? It's a soft lock. I, th I really thought Goro would be different because he doesn't have dialogue, but it must just be the game being like, uh, you're kissing two people at once, what the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Idea. Maybe changing some values will make it work immediately. Eh, Diamond, you've missed the party. Maybe the game can't update my kiss counter. Well, it's currently at, you know... I don't know. There might be some way using Cheat Engine that I can fix the problem. Right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, of course I made a save state for this. Oh shit, it was it, right? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait a minute, let me put my... It'd be interesting to know when the kiss counter officially goes up, right? So I'm gonna... Put my kiss counter down to two. And when does it go up? It ain't now. Whoa! This is new! How did that happen? How did that happen? It still caused a soft lock, but... How? So no, it can't update my kiss counter because I'm like kissing two people at once and I think that's the problem. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I've never seen that. How? How did he disappear during the kiss anime? I've never in all me days. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Alright, let's update the kiss counter. It's back up to 230, whatever. Let's update the kiss counter manually. And maybe by doing that, it'll somehow fix it. I don't know. Why didn't he do it this time? No. Also, wait a minute. If I can control my own health, does that mean I can kill myself at any time? I mean, you can have zero health and still be alive, but... I mean... <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta look at this now. Well, this is not... Well, this is an old save state, but sure, current health, zero. Yeah, it has the same effect as the glitch. 
Oh, them. Did you? I don't know how I feel about them. I feel like I could have done a better job. Wait, minus, minus one. Is that a value? <laughs> well, I have a lot of HP out of five. Wait, does that mean that if I do minus one here? Dude, I am God. I am God. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I love it. I love it so much. That, well, so you can't kill yourself, but you can't have essentially infinity HP. <laughs> you, you can get all of the cop questions wrong! Dude, could you imagine that? I could just go to the end of the game, get all the questions wrong, and he's like, No, you foiled me. You passed my challenge <laughs> by being God. Out of curiosity, does that actually count? Like... Does that actually work properly? Like, so if I'm here and I take damage, that is hilarious. I actually have that much health. That is hilarious. Oh my god. That is just. Mwah. Wait, what if I put the kiss counter to minus one? Ah, the max is 255. Nice. Uh, what about the maximum number amount of money? The maximum amount of money is actually. Oh, that's a very large number. Four two nine four nine six four seven nine five. But it reads as one. <laughs> so we'll just uh, take that for what it's worth. Which is one zenny. <laughs> but okay. Right, so Goro destroyed my hopes and dreams. The only other thing. If we could find the value. Dude, that's it. If we could find the value that decides if Goro is arrested. If we do, if we, okay, or like if we get an item. If we find the item, if we get like the wine coupon thing, that'll do it. So, okay, my, my giant 4D chess camera angle changing specific time thing for Thief Tiptoe. It, it worked in pra it, like the, the execution luckily worked, but the the kiss anybody glitch as always when done on an underground resident soft locks the game all the time, every time. Unfortunately, which makes not the, the more I think about it, the more I don't understand why that's the case. Because other residents have specific dialogue as well. For those kinds of things. Why is it underground residents that soft locked the game? Hmm. Right, well there's more to test. Cause I can go anywhere and do anything. I am I am all decked out right now. So where do I wanna go? And what do I wanna do? I mean Scarecrow Field is eh. The end. The problem with the end of the game is I'll actually have to play the game up until that point. Uh, other other places that I would have loved to find an OOB in that I never could. Where would that be? Where would that include? Besides the end of the game. I don't think there is anywhere. It's just the well the prologue, but I've already done that. I've already tested that. And my hopes and dreams were shattered for the for the uh, final cutscene warp, but then again, I never really thought it would be a thing anyway. Like if if I find the value, if I find the value for time, then if only I could find the value for items. 